Welcome internet to another video. Today I'm going to talk about how to install OpenVPN on your Raspberry Pi in a way that allows you to protect your privacy using that uh, and it'll you know keep your ISP from seeing what you're doing on there. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. Stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and talk about how to put OpenVPN and uh, the Zomboided OpenVPN Manager on your Raspberry Pi. That's what I use on mine because after researching how to set all this up, the other methods out there were an absolute nightmare. Generating certificates, uh, generating a whole bunch of different things to make it work, and having to use um, file transfer protocols into the Pi to make it work was just an absolute nightmare. So this, in my opinion, is the easiest way to set all of this up. So a few things you're gonna need. You're gonna need to know the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. If you don't know how to get that, um, it's very, very straightforward. You're just going to go into your network settings on OSMC or on Kodi and look at your network adapter, wired or wireless, and it'll give you your IP address. Usually for a home network, it's going to be 192.168.1 and then whatever the last anywhere from one to three digits is, that's going to be the address of your Pi. So you're going to need that, number one. Number two, you're going to need to download PuTTY from PuTTY.org. It will allow you to SSH into your Pi and allow you to download app updates using the command line and also download applications and things like that. So what you're also going to need to do is download the Zomboided repository, which is going to be down here in the link box, as well as links to everything else that I'm talking about. And you're going to download that and save it to a flash drive, okay? So you also need a flash drive. It's not very large of a repository, so even an ancient like 256 megabyte one should be just fine. And you're going to need to download and install OpenVPN via SSH. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that right now. So we're going to start from the beginning here. There's Putty, SSH, and I've already logged into the device before, and it has a static IP, which is another thing that's kind of important to do, is make sure you set up a static IP on there. Just reserve it in your router for it. It's the easiest way to do it. Conversely, you can also check your router's management console to get your IP address for your Pi if you don't want to go through the settings on the actual Pi itself. So by default, your password, login password, and username for OSMC is OSMC as the username and OSMC as the password. So now that we're here inside of the Pi, what we're going to go ahead and do first things first is a sudo apt-get. You're going to go ahead and type update and hit enter after that. And what this is going to do is this is going to update the, the software on the Pi. Make sure you're running on the latest and greatest everything. Very, very straightforward. You just kind of got to let it, let it run. Ooh. All right, your next thing you want to do, sudo dash apt dash git. No dash. I said that wrong. Sudo. Yeah, sudo apt dash git install. There's a space there. Install OpenVPN space dash yes. Let that run and we're done. That's it, it's installed. So now let's go over onto the Pi and I'll show you guys how to set all that up the rest of the way. All right, so this is the OSMC interface. Now to install the Zomboided repository, which is what you're going to need to put your Open ELAC VPN manager on here, you're gonna go to settings. And with your flash drive plugged in to the Pi that you have the Zomboided repository, and you're going to go to Add-on Browser. Then you're going to do Install from Zip File. Okay. Now you're going to go through here, and you're going to find your flash drive. In this situation, it's named Data. And you're going to click on your repository Zomboided plugins, 1.0.0.zip. All right, the Zomboided repository is now added on. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back up a level, go to add-on browser, install from repository, and go down here to the Zomboided add-on repository. Go ahead and hit enter, go to services, and go to VPN manager for OpenVPN. What you're going to do is go ahead and hit install, and just like that, you are here. This is, this is the important one. So what you're going to do here is you're gonna go through and select your VPN provider, first and foremost. So for this demonstration, ours is private internet access. And we're gonna go ahead and put in our username. Our password is now in, and our username is now in. So we're just going to leave the rest of this all automatic, okay? I'm not gonna change anything in here. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. So 
So we're going to go ahead and come on in here. And now we're going to select our first VPN. And now you'll notice that we have OpenVPN installed in the background. It's now working. So we're going to just go ahead and hit uh, default encryption, just for better luck. Uh, the strong encryption works fine too, but whatever. We are going to go ahead and select... Uh, we're going to go ahead and select California because it's the closest VPN node to where I'm at. So we're just going to go ahead and hit enter. And there you have it. We are now connected to a VPN on our Raspberry Pi. Now this will auto connect every single time the Pi is restarted or you do anything like that. Um, you can select secondary servers, uh, things like that through here, through your VPN connections tab. You just would do second VPN uh, and you can do all that. Uh, you can do all of this, other, all these other settings, but a lot of this really, you can tweak it if you want. I just left it alone on mine because I want the VPN to run all of the time. So we're just going to go ahead and hit OK. And that is it. Okay, that's it. That's how you set up the uh, OpenVPN manager on your Raspberry Pi. It supports different VPNs. I use private internet access, as I've said before. That's the one I like. I really, really enjoy it. And it's super easy to set up here on the Pi. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, then okay, fine, whatever. Tell me what you didn't like, and I'll do my best to make better content for you all. As always, I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys around.